Hi guys. So this vlog is going to be a little bit different than my normal ones. Um, I'm filming this later after the fact, but basically this vlog is all about Mother's Day, Sunday the 13th I think it was. This was a pretty hard day for my family as we laid my aunt's ra ashes to rest. Basically we spared my aunt's ashes and it was a very emotional, very um, just a way of saying goodbye, you know, kind of thing. <sighs> so this vlog is just going to be a little bit of the trip up there and the scenery. I, out of respect for my family, I am not going to be posting the ceremony. I'm just going to be basically showing you guys how beautiful the area is that we laid her to rest. Uh, we went up to Mount Hood, which was one of her favorite places. My aunt has a, a house up there on the mountain, and right across from her is a right across the street from her house is a field that in the summertime is full of wildflowers and down um, a little bit down the hill there's this beautiful stream that goes through and that was one of my aunt's favorite places to stay. So that's where we spread her ashes. Again, I am not going to be showing the actual ceremony just because, you know, I don't, I think that's disrespectful to my family and I do not want to hurt them in any way. So I'm just going to be, like I said, showing you the scenery. And then I have a little clip of me um, just talking about it afterwards. So that's going to be this vlog. I hope that that's okay with y'all. It's kind of like a little somber vlog, but you know what? It's um, It was a beautiful, beautiful day, and it was a healing process for our family, I think. So I hope you guys enjoy the beautiful scenery like I did. I hope you can hear me. I got my awesome uh, shark tooth necklace that my cousin got me. I love it. It's not a real shark tooth. I would actually real love a real shark tooth um, necklace, but nope. It's so cool though. So 
I hope you can hear me guys, my fan's on. It's really warm, like like in the 80s. Ugh, can you see my arm? It's all like mangled looking. <laughs> That's from leaning on the blankets for like two seconds, I swear. My skin is so like weird and um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but of course I have food in my teeth. Like, elastic -y, Maybe? It's like silly putty, like anything you put on it, it, <laughs> it, uh, makes the pattern. I don't know. But anyways, guys, um, today was a really good day. It was a really emotional day, but it was a really good day. We spread my aunt's ashes, um, out in a beautiful little field right next to the the river up on the mountain and it was it was amazing um, her daughter and her son uh, spread her ashes together and we just kind of all were there to support them and you know be a part of it witness it and it was really good and we got to hang out afterwards you know big family get together and eat good food and um, my aunt has a beautiful place up on the mountain, so we, you know, had a big, uh, just fun time there with everybody, and it was really good. It was, it was really, really good. I mean, it's, it, you know, sad that we were missing my aunt and their mom and all that kind of stuff, and, you know, but she wouldn't want us to be sad. She'd want us to be partying. She'd want us to be happy, and, um... Yeah, so it, it was a good, it was a good day. But now I'm home. I'm pretty tired. Again, I don't know if this tiredness is just my normal fatigue junk, or if this is my medication making me tired. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, I've, oh, I haven't even been on it. Well, I think that this might be a full 24 hours now that I've been on it, but, you know, I'm sure it's going to take... More than 24 hours before I start noticing anything. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I got a massage tomorrow, so that's good. I'm looking forward to that one, that'll be really nice. And yeah, it's just, it's warm. It's like in the 80s. You, like, a couple of years ago, 82 was like my favorite, favorite temperature. Now I'm like, anything over 76, I'm like, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I don't know, I just have become extremely heat intolerant lately, so I don't know what the heck's up with that. But, uh, yeah, I'm just laying in bed and catching up on some YouTube videos. I'm kind of sort of getting a headache, or I can kind of feel it coming on like right here, right behind my eyes. Well, I already took some migraine medication, so I'm hoping that'll kick in soon, I hope. But I look, I look bald. I do have hair. It's here. It's just, it's pinned up. When I do this, I look like I have like that old man haircut, you know, where it's like bald and then the sides. <laughs> I do have hair. I do have hair, I promise. I mean, my hair is thinning really, really badly, but it's still there. Yeah, so I don't know what else to say. Um, <sighs> yeah, today's just been an emotional day for my family. It's Mother's Day, so. I know this is obviously going to be posted after Mother's Day, but Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers, all you single fathers, and all you people who, I don't know, I have a lot of people in my life from a lot of different like areas, like my mom obviously, my gram grandmas, because then I have like women in my life who are like my mom to me, like a surrogate mom. Um, I know women that, you know, either choose not to have children or can't have children. And then obviously you have like the single dads or, um, you know, whoever who take care of the kids. So to everyone out there who has ever been a mother to anyone or mothered in, is a mother or whatever, you all know what I mean. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I'm a doggy mommy. And I am a fish mommy. And I am a livid mommy. I'm not a human mommy. Not yet. I'm a-okay -okay with that right now. <laughs> not ready for kids. But, 
Yeah. I have a my pupper, which he's abandoned me somewhere because it's too hot in my room for him. I have my reptile and my fish in here, so I have like their heats on and it makes my room so hot. I might have to move the reptile out in the summer where it gets too hot. It might just be too hot in here to have him with all of his heat lamps and specialty things like upping the temperature by like 10 degrees in my room. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go now because my arms are falling asleep and I'm really tired and I feel like I'm getting a migraine so I'm going to go and um, just enjoy the rest of my day. Probably by just looking out the window and enjoying the scenery. That sounds like really sad but it's not. It's nice. I'm an introvert, so I like being alone. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll see y'all later today or tomorrow, I'm not sure yet, but I'll see y'all later.